I started my project in the private higher education in the 80s. And in a certain way, I can say that I was that one who started the revolution. I'm going to tell you that uh, one of the bases of our philosophy in healthcare is exactly Plato and the dialogue of Plato's. We can learn that the health is just a balance. It's a balance between the physical dimension and the spiritual dimension of the mankind. When we organize a health system, we have to decide if you want invest in health or spend with disease. What we have is a national disease system. We have to care of health. That's why I think that in hospital, in hospital, we have to create an environment, an ambience to the people and not being fair of coming to the hospital and when they come to the hospital they must think that they are coming to a health ambience, a health environment and not in a disease environment. And that is the difference we can we want to let's say to create in our hospital. Our business is training health profession. This is our business. And to train health professions, we need patients just to train them. But the patient is not our client. It's, let's say, our partner of teaching and of learning. And that's why we look at the patient in a different way. For this project, the most important thing, the technologies is very, very important. The medicine and the, the healthcare has had an enormous changing with the information system and the technology system. And nowadays, we can see inside the passion. But after that, what we need now is the humanity. When I went to Germany and to meet the Vice President in the generation of Siemens and I explained to him the project, I could meet someone who immediately understood, understood the project. That means that we have the philosophy of the system of the healthcare and the Siemens has technological solutions in a certain way to transform that philosophy in really, in a really uh, situation. We have a, a year, a year of uh, of activity. We start in January last year, but during this year, what we can see that we grow every day. A little bit, but we grow every day. Huh? I usually say that the animal, the most intelligent animal of the world is a chicken. Because chicken, huh, as you know, it's grain to grain, grain to grain. To read. And that is my philosophy. And I can say that uh, without that, uh, we got the break even in five years' time. And now I can tell you that uh, I will have the break even of that hospital in three years' time. The patients who come to us, what they need, what they ask us is to have a book, not to complain but to congratulate the professionals of the hospital. They remark the difference. 